All rockets produce exhaust, but the Apollo Lunar Module Ascent Stage produced no exhaust. Therefore, it was not a real rocket, and we did not really land on the moon. <sighs> nope. Talk about that one today on Vintage Space. So the idea of the clear flame conspiracy is kind of an interesting one. Basically, it goes like this. In the footage of Apollo lunar modules leaving the moon, the ascent stage is not seen burning a plume like we see a rocket does leaving the Earth. Therefore, the idea goes, if there's no plume, there is no real rocket, therefore we never really landed. It was just a model being raised off a simulated moon. Well, that's not true, and it has to do with the fuel that the lunar module burned. When you think about a rocket that's launching off the Earth with a huge plume of flame, you're thinking of something like the Saturn V, something that burned a mixture of kerosene and liquid oxygen to get off the ground. But the lunar module didn't burn the same combination of fuel and oxidizer. Instead, it used hypergolic fuels, or hypergols. Hypergols burn on contact, they don't need an ignition source. Which means all you have to do is open a valve, let the two mix, and boom, you're off. Which is great with spaceflight because that's one less thing to worry about. Another characteristic of hypergols is that they typically burn clear. This is the case of the lunar module. Both the lunar module ascent stage and descent stage used a mix of aerosene 50 and dinitrogen tetroxide, a fuel and an oxidizer that burn on contact with a characteristic clear flame. A clear flame that you've all seen before. This is the same fuel and oxidizer mixture that the Titan II used, the rocket that launched the Gemini program. And if you look back at that old launch footage, that rocket rises on an apparently clear flame, and it looks awesome. And there's another piece to why we don't see the flame of the ascent stage, though it is a secondary reason to the fuel mixture. On Earth, our atmospheric pressure means that we see the exhaust of a rocket as a column. It doesn't really spread out much because the pressure of the air keeps it contained. That's not the case on the Moon where there is no atmosphere. Anything that burns can dissipate far more easily, so even if we could see it, you wouldn't see it the same as you do on Earth. And I'll throw in the fact that the cameras weren't exactly high-definition TV cameras that showed it. So even if you could see a very tiny bit of the flame leaving the Moon, probably wouldn't see it on that not-so-great TV footage. 